so today i will show you a vpn that has been created by me in xcatcher pro of course i used open vpn lib in this application uh, so we can see here it's my vpn and i named it jerox let's open it we can see a plus a screen here first then it redirects us in our home activity here you can see a connect button a server selection button then a get premium button uh, it it doesn't work so if we click on selecting servers you we, you can see that here are three servers now as i didn't upload it any server in firebase right now that's why it's showing three servers as you can upload as much as server you want in this vpn application if you if we select japan server then it get float here then if we click on connect you can see a notification here until it connect okay after connecting success successfully if we open a website right to check our location here you can see that we are in now japan showing us japan okay you can disconnect it then select another server right if we want to connect with korea then we just click on korea then it will load the config file of korea from our firebase just do that and click on connect it will start connecting to korea you can see that it has connected successfully after connecting successfully let's go to our website to check our location again okay you can see that now we are in korea okay now let's disconnect this vpn and try with silent server you can see that it's loading the config file of that server from firebase we can connect it just clicking on the connected button and you can see that it's connected okay let's check it again if we click on reload we will get the result here okay we can see that we uh, i am connected with thailand now it's amazing okay now let's see the admin panel of this app okay here you have to enter a title like if you wa want to add a config file of vietnam then just write vietnam okay if server is stable or good it defines if we enter here you can see that there is a good uh, server stable sign and server not a stable sign if we click on is server stable or good then it will show server stable sign if we do, don't if we don't check it then it will show server is non stable okay if we check up servers here in our checkup panel you can delete servers or edit servers i didn't added the edit method uh, edit program here because uh, i don't have enough time to make that if you can do this do this then just message me uh, i will add it in a sketchup and you will also get the credit of adding the update activity of those vpn server okay let's check how to add a vpn config file in our application in gate okay after going to vpn gate select a random server from here as i know the usa servers gives error like a password error or something okay so let's select our favorite server from here as we can see there are many servers okay Okay, let's try selecting Canada server from 
this VPN gate you can select this uh, TCP or this one it doesn't matter select but don't select UDP in my VPN because I didn't write UDP in my application okay now let's go to our C channel and that's Canada okay server will be not be stable we will not select a stable button here add a VPN file add a VPN file from my download folder okay here's the VPN folder VPN file after uploading it successfully let's add the country icon from my download folder okay you can see that I have selected my country icon here now add new servers okay you can see that Canada is on the list now okay Canada is on our list now let's check our application now okay you can see it here uh, we have Canada servers now ah, I didn't think whatever let's select it and click on connect okay now our Canada is connected to our server okay as you can see we have connected to Canada now if we click on disconnect then it will disconnect us from Canada server here just simply now it's time to check our code here let's check our project in sketcher okay my vpn project comes with uh, two project one is the panel and the next one is the vpn okay check our vpn here here is the plus skin okay you can see the town create i have added a animation to the image view and here is the loader if network is available or con and connected then it will simply redirect, redirect you to the home activity after getting the result here you can see that i have a connect button and when we click it it will first of all check if network is available then it will check is uh, server is empty if server is empty then it will not connect it will show us uh, toast instead and here is the code okay uh, if VPN is on started then it will start the VPN if uh, VPN is started then it will stop the VPN and we'll show some animation okay this uh, If we click on a uh, get premium button then it will not do anything you can add something here and here is the server button when you click it it will first check if we are still connecting or connected if we are still connecting then it will set disconnect first or if we are connected then it will set disconnect first because we can't load a profile while connected to a server it will show us error then I have used here uh, result intent to pick a server from the server activity okay here you can see on create i have some pri private variables here okay i have some variables here uh, integer variables and uh, vpn service internal variable profile assigned as it is a assigned task service connection okay here i have uses, uh, used some code here you can see it here okay now let's see the imports okay I have added this import in my project then let's see on the resume activity I have this code and on pause activity it unbinds the service and on a stop activity it removes the state listener 
and on activity result okay here it's here we pick our server from here then it simply uh, do that's what is empty variable is false now because our we have our server picked up in here okay then it's create a profile message sex connect between profile disconnected it does what if we have a previous loaded profile on our application then it will simply delete that profile because we are we have picked new one and we are going to connect uh, connect with new one if we do, don't uh, clean our previous profile then it will connect the old profile okay so we put our data title url and icon in this more box then on break back uh, press method this simply finishes the activity okay then let's see on create we have some some uh, shared preferences here okay <coughs> here you can see that if uh, the name equals null then it will show empty is true then text view tool show no server selected it means when the application uh, data is cleared then it will show this then we can see the design we have this in our design method okay if you go to more here is our sum code to work okay you can see it here and a start vpn from url it will start a vpn from url as i didn't copy these things from anyone everyone uh, used just only one server and it was just uh, attached with the application in the assigned task and i did what i just added in our activity and added some method that clear clears the vpn profile from the application as you can see as vpn and as vpn as vpn does uh, don't clears the profile because if the user enters the application again and he don't select any server then just clicks on the uh, connect button it will not connect them that's why i didn't clear the server on a stop method okay uh, i just did what when the user picks a server from the server activity then the previous server got cleaned from the application okay here is a set connected more and we did what just added the circle corner radius with green color and just added connection management data for here and added the text view to text as the uh, server name and the circle view as the server url okay as uh, if we open progress dialog it's uh, it's just the progress dialog which start connecting uh, which starts uh, deleting the previous server profile and adding the new server profile uh, if we check get server data here is this uh, start vpn from url it will set the vpn from link then name and the icon okay we're not done yet we have to check our custom variables i have a lot dialog variable is as custom variable here okay now let's check the server activity here is the firebase config firebase database you must add your own firebase to the project you can see it here okay so now let's check the list view here's the bind custom view uh, on container click i have just uh, send it the server title url and country icon to my main uh, home activity okay here's the on create and here is the transfer data to home uh, i just created a new entity called return intent and put the title icon 
and you are okay and i finished the activity then i just put those thing again in my shared preference okay let's uh, check custom views here i have this custom view and this one and just this one this doesn't do anything we can delete this custom view from here okay we can delete this custom view just go to views custom views and delete this dialog uh, because i don't use any dialog here so let's go to views and home let's uh, check our servers uh, libraries now uh, i didn't edit any open vpn libraries in my project i just added those uh, files in my project here you can see that okay uh, so that you can clean them or use them as you want or update them uh, somewhere uh, if we check, check the direct clean manager it cleans catch delete delete database if we use them okay this is the profile assigning method uh, java file which is the important file of our project it connects us with the server we want of obviously this is the most powerful java file in the project uh, without this the project is useless okay now let's check assets i have this assets and let's uh, check out native library i have this native li libraries and let's check local library i added junit uh, libs here you can see just a minute okay because it's important for my project junit libs is important for project okay now if we click on config you can see that i have used this uh, data blanking dot open vpn dot code dot app you have to add this if you don't add this the project will crash okay now let's check the admin panel you can see that uh, i have added that obvn file and here is the dialog as i used dialog library here that file picker dialog library and if we add on add new servers here is the new server okay or oh, else uh, everything is okay and uh, then we have i have added server activity from where you can delete the servers and i didn't added the update activity or i didn't work on the update activity because i was uh, ran out of time if anyone can do this uh, personally message me i will give this credit on a sketchup thank you please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get latest project and obviously guys i have created this project for you you can use it uh, if you uh, please don't try to copy my whole ui design because uh, i may upload this application on flash for few in future and you can subscribe my channel if you like. Thank you.